Since her time in private school, Samantha had trouble getting along with rich people. But true love would soon change her perspective on the upper class. After losing her parents at a young age, Samantha learned how to fend for herself. Despite always finding herself in trouble, her teachers recognized her as a brilliant child. She was eventually offered a scholarship to an elite private school. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose, like, and share this video with your friends. It might brighten their day and inspire them to do good. Also keep watching because an important lesson awaits at the end of the video. While there, Samantha was often teased for her poor background and grew to dislike rich kids. You'll never fit in here, one student teased. But thanks to her strong resolve, Samantha wasn't phased by the bullying. After graduating high school, she took a gap year and got a job working at the concession stand at her local cinema. She often ducked into the theater to watch movies when her manager was busy. One day, while sneaking back to her post, she ran into the cinema's projectionist, Steve. Samantha attempted to make an excuse for why she was in the theater. Don't worry, I won't tell anybody. But between you and me, I've got the best seat in the house, Steve told her while gesturing to the projection booth. The two hit it off immediately and began dating shortly afterward. Samantha felt like Steve was just like her and not like the judgmental rich people she had been raised around. I'm just glad I found another rebel in this snobbish town, she told him. Little did she know that Steve had a secret. He was the son of the cinema's owners, Rick and Ann, and came from a wealthy background. He kept this a secret out of fear that Samantha would leave him. Steve always rebelled against his privileged upbringing and preferred to play by his own rules. Even when Samantha stopped working at the theater, he continued to spend time with her at work. One day, a new film was being released, and Steve arranged a special gift for Samantha. Meet me at the cinema at 8 p.m. I've got a surprise for you, Steve told her. Samantha arrived and was surprised to find the cinema completely empty. But the movie began screening, and Steve appeared behind her, holding two large popcorn boxes. Samantha gave Steve a big hug, almost spilling the popcorn everywhere. Together, they shared the entire theater to themselves. It's my dream to own a cinema like this one day, Samantha admitted. Steve wanted to tell her his truth badly, but kept it to himself. One day, we'll open one of our own together, he replied. When Steve got home, his parents were waiting for him at the dining room table. He knew this meant lousy news and joined them. They told Steve they had found out about Samantha and disapproved of their relationship. You have to make a choice here, Steve. You either keep fooling around with this crazy girlfriend of yours or move on and listen to us, his father Rick said in a demanding tone. I choose Samantha, Steve replied without hesitation. He changed jobs to join a smaller cinema and moved in with Samantha. The two lived happily despite their financial status. Years later, Steve receives a worrying visit from his father. Hi, Steve. Your mother is in the hospital and needs a blood transfusion. I know we haven't spoken much recently, but we would love for you to come and visit, Rick told him. Steve and Samantha rush to the hospital. They learn that Steve's mother has a rare blood type and that finding donors in town has been difficult. While there, Samantha realizes that the hospital is an expensive private hospital. She also notices that Rick is wearing a pricey Rolex and pinstripe suit. When Samantha and Steve return home, she confronts him. Steve admits that he comes from a wealthy family, and Samantha is furious. I thought you were different, Steve, she tells him threatening to leave. Steve is distraught, but tries to convince Samantha of his true nature. Don't you understand? Yes, I come from a rich family, but the main thing for me is love, and money is just pieces of paper. I gave all of that up for you, Steve pleads. That night, Samantha realizes that she overreacted. She apologizes to Steve and thanks him for his sacrifices. The couple return to the hospital to visit Steve's mother, Anne. Samantha realized that she shared Anne's rare blood type and offered to become her donor. After a successful procedure, Anne made a full recovery. Rick was over the moon as he had feared he would lose his lifelong partner. Steve's parents asked that all go out for dinner to celebrate, Samantha included. We just want to say thank you for everything, Samantha. And Steve, we're sorry that we judged you the way we did. You've clearly found a lovely young woman, Rick told them. 
Rick and Anne began to make much more effort to get to know Samantha and realized why Steve had fallen for her. Samantha realized that she had been too judgmental of rich people and that they weren't all bullies like her old high school classmates. A few months later, Steve and Samantha chose to get married. They decided to hold a small ceremony in the cinema where they first met. Steve's parents attended and surprised the newlyweds with a special gift. Anne held out a pair of keys to Samantha, who appeared confused. Your love began right here, so from Rick and I, here are the keys to the cinema. It's all yours, Anne exclaimed as she placed the keys in Samantha's hands. Steve and Samantha embraced as tears of joy rolled down their faces. Samantha had always dreamed of owning a cinema, and she even managed to marry its projectionist.